Hey everybody, I'm James, uh, back here again with Coffee Stories. Uh, this time it's our November Coffee Stories. I am the coffee educator here at Drift Away, and I am actually in the middle of brewing um, the fruity profile on this Chemex, of course. This is the fruity profile for our November coffee. So these are coffees that start roasting November 4th and the last, or sorry, you can start to order them on November 4th and the last day to order is gonna be December 1st. So this is a coffee, this fruity profile is the Kiranyaga Baragui. It's from the Kiranyaga region of Kenya and it's the um, Baragui is the name of the cooperative. It's actually technically called the Farmer Cooperative Society. So Baragui FCS. And they're actually the largest cooperative in Kenya. They're a super huge co-op of um, coffee farmers in Kenya. And you know, they're the largest both in how much coffee they produce, but also how many farmer members they have. And Bragui um, also runs their own washing stations, which isn't always the case, but they have 12 different um, washing stations or factories as they're called in Kenya. Um, and the washing station, by the way, is where the coffee is brought to be processed. So real quick, you know, if, if you're not um, familiar with what I mean by coffee processing, if you are, feel free to fast forward. But uh, this is basically, you know, coffee is the seed of a fruit. It grows inside a fruit. Two coffee beans or seeds kind of grow next to each other. That's why they're flat on one side. And processing is just refers to how we get those seeds out of the fruit. Um, there's, you might've heard of natural processing. This is washed processing. So that means that the coffee was harvested. It was immediately separated from the fruit. Well, after it was harvested, it was brought from the farm to um, Gachami and the Gachami factory. Then that's where it was separated from the fruit and it was washed and then dried. So that's kind of the processing that's happening at Gachami. And, you know, again, it's one of the, the biggest, it's one of 12 factories, right? Um, and a really interesting thing about the Baragui Cooperative that runs these factories, these washing station factories, is that they, the managers of each of these factories or washing stations ha switch every two years and go work at a different one of these factories. And <clears throat> the reason they do that is because they really want consistency. It's really important to them to have you know, um, high quality coffee being processed at their facilities and they wanna make sure that everyone knows the drill and that you can go, you can bring your coffee to any one of these uh, factories and they'll be processed with the same method and same high quality. Um, so the co-op, the cooperative also hires agronomists um, to, you know, give information to farmers, um, new kinds of growing methods. The co-op also supplies manure for fertilizer and also seedlings. So they do a lot of support as well. Um, and as this is continuing to drip through, I can smell the aroma the whole time. You know, this fruity profile is great in a Chemex because of the thicker filter, but it also would do really well, honestly, in any kind of pour over method. And I've got the Kalita Wave right here as a, a secondary option. Um, so the fruity profile, you know, we look for fruit forward coffees that have kind of a crisp mouth-watering acidity. And this coffee is just perfect for that. It's floral, it's super juicy. It reminds us of pink grapefruit uh, and it has this creamy caramel kind of base um, like uh, Dolce de Leche. So, um, and of course, since it's the fruity profile, it's our lightest roast, which helps us preserve that juicy acidity. So this has been, oh, and it's just finished now, perfect timing. This has been the um, fruity profile for November, the uh, Kenya Baragui um, Ketamai, no, sorry, Kenya, I just said it, Kenya Baragui um, Kianyaga, thank you. Yes, Gachimi is the factory, Baragui is the cooperative. 
Yeah, see, I'm just, uh, it's all in here. Should have it out there somewhere. But in any case, this is the Fruity Profile and you can start ordering this coffee starting on November 4th. Last day to order will be December 1st. If you want more information on this coffee, you can go to driftaway.coffee slash KKG. Uh, thanks for watching Coffee Stories and I'll see you next month. <laughs>